Hey Air Signs, better late than never. Um, been a bit tied up with things this week, so uh, I thought I actually had some ready to go on my channel, and I was wrong. Uh, they're all done, so here we go. I'm going to do something similar again. It's just the one tarot card per sign. Uh, I'm going to give you a Lenormand instead of a spirit animal, and then we'll do the shuffle up these for two messages, top and bottom. Um, for each thing. We'll do that now. So this is air signs. So the first slot will be Aquarius. Um, I'm trying to think of the star signs. Sorry, bear with me. It's early here. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, but we'll do air signs in general first. So we'll just get these ready. This is for air signs messages. Now this is yes and no, so ask your question now, air signs, um, because what I'll be doing is Top and bottom, the first two will be Aquarius. Top and bottom after that will be Gemini. Top and bottom will be um, Libra. So let's get started with the first card for the signs in general. Ooh, air signs. Okay, I can't remember what last week's were. Uh, normally I review them before I read and I can remember some of the signs, you know. So, some sort of battle going on. Now, this could be an internal battle. It could be an actual battle outside of your home. It looks like there's something gone down between you and work or you and another person. Um, the double nines, in my normal poker deck, if I had two black nines like that, I would say, whatever this is, it's, it's done. It's over. Um, a lot of people say that in the tarots, the 10 means it's finally ended, but this is brinking on the edge of it's done. So some of you might be walking out on a job this week. Some of you might be planning on when can you get out of there. Um, if this is about a relationship, it's a very toxic, angry relationship. There's problems going on. There's arguments going on. You or somebody else is being defensive in this situation and it's creating nightmares, fear. What do I do? Where do I go? So unfortunately, air signs this week, it's looking like it's a pretty tough week. Um, I did say, I feel that you could be internalizing this kind of you might be frustrated with somebody. You want to stand your ground. You want to tell them how it is, um, but they're fighting back as well, and they're telling you how it is, or they're being silent. Um, now, this could be their energy or yours. One person argumentative, one person putting a wall up and saying, stuff you, Jack, I'm not having any part of this. Um, then over here, uh, this is sort of like, what do I do? I want to get out of this. I can't. I need the money. I've got to pay the bills. Or where do I go from here? Um, use some of the air signs may be dealing with a Virgo energy or possibly a, another air sign, Libra, um, simply because we've got the double nines to me that represents September. Now, on a totally different note, some of you out there might be dealing with a difficulty uh, around pregnancy because the nine can be birth after nine months and this would be stress around birth or not ready or it's just not happening. Um, it would be a male child as well, a male baby uh, with a five energy there. Okay, so let's just uh, move these to one side for uh, Gemini and Libra. Uh, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, so your week ahead looks like arguments uh, probably around work, um, could be at home about work. It could be around a male energy discussions, arguments, temper tantrums, um, if you're dealing with a child. Um, it could be a grown adult that's having a temper, tan a temper tantrum as well. It could be you, Aquarius. Um, but this is where it just looks like no matter what you do, there's going to be some sort of arguments. Now, this deck does tend to have the moon nearly on every card, but there's a big full moon sitting there. Um, I'm wondering if this argument is about some something being exposed um, at work. Uh, it could be about a friendship you've got going on, on at work. Um, it could be at home, like I said, that you're arguing about things to do with work. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of frustration there and some sort of arguments going on. Uh, it looks like you're arguing about a soulmate partnership. So this changes the whole thing. This could be arguments with your partner, 
uh, your husband, your wife, um, could be arguments with your, uh, you know, your beloved, somebody that your long-term commitment with, the swans are forever. Um, and the jack of hearts is usually the soulmate connection as well. So it does look like this is about either arguments about work and a commitment, um, arguments at, with your commitment about work. So there's some sort of uh, disagreements and things going on. So as you know, I shuffled up for all the air signs here and you've asked your question in your mind. So let's see if we get yes and no. One card from the top, one card from the bottom. You have someone's watching you a little bit too much. Now, if this is work, just be careful, uh, you know, are you getting to work on time? Are you leaving work when you're supposed to? Are you doing your work? Are you cutting corners? Are you sitting around on your phone um, when you should be working? Are you going out of the office and not coming back? So someone's watching a little bit too much. Now, in a relationship, it could be your partner. It could be that your partner, your soulmate, your commitment person, um, is going to argue because they've been watching you. So I don't know what they're going to find out, but don't forget you had the moon there. So if you've got some sort of secrets going on, Aquarius, it looks like it might come out. There might be a fight about it. Um, if you look at this card too, see the crow in the background? The crow's watching what's going on, watching the discussions, the fights, whatever. So you might be having an argument on your phone with somebody. You might be sending somebody angry text message or they might be sending it to you and it's not your partner and then your partner sees it. So somebody's watching you, um, Aquarius. And your other card, yes or no. We're not going to get a yes or no. Wish is being fulfilled. So I feel for some Aquarius people, you might be committing to somebody, having the love of your life come in, um, you might be getting married, whatever. For others, I feel like someone's watching you and there's going to be fights about it. Anyway, Aquarius, that's what we have for you this week. Now, don't forget, there is the two nines there. Um, that's part of your reading as well for air signs, air signs in general. Um, I just feel like this can be where you're, you or somebody else is just putting a wall up and shutting out and it's either cre creating for you or your partner or somebody close to you some sort of nightmares, fears, not sleeping properly, waking up in the middle of the night or things like that. So that's either your energy or their energy. Okay, so let's move on to Gemini. Okay, so Gemini, you've got the defensive behaviour card to start with. Um, it can be that you just are shutting things out at the moment and choosing one way to go. Uh, you, you're thinking, no, I'm not going to deal with a hundred problems at once. I'm just going to choose one thing and then I'm standing there. You also might be dealing with somebody that's confrontational at the moment with this anger card over here, this fighting card sitting in the Aquarius zone. Um, but the, all three cards are for, for you as well. Um, and somebody, either you or somebody else, is having nightmares and fears about certain discussions that turn into arguments and then somebody goes cold and quiet. So this can be the cold and quiet card. Uh, the sun coming out usually means, Gemini, that you will find a solution and happiness will come back. Um, we've got the Ace of Diamonds down the bottom here. So this could be signing contracts at work. This could be a lot of study and work. Uh, earlier on I said about pregnancy because of the, the two nines, meaning the nine months uh, could be difficult and things like that. If that's the case for you, this is the announcement. The sun is everything going well and the three represents the fertility and everything and the one represents the one little baby. And then the four in Gemini, even though I said it would be a male child at the beginning for the air signs, uh, the four represents a female baby. So as I said, uh, right at the beginning, I already pre-shuffled for the air signs. Top and bottom card is your answer. Possibly you'll get a yes or a no. Uh, you might not. You might just get a message. So here we go. New love is near. And you will get what you need. Okay, so it looks like a. it starts off with this... Uh, Maybe somebody being temperamental, maybe somebody's putting a wall up or not talking or whatever. Maybe someone's wanting to argue and everything here and then they're gone silent. Um, but it looks like with the sun, new love is near and you getting what you need. It looks like it's all going to turn out for Gemini quite nicely in the end. Okay, and lastly, lastly, let's move on to 
just move them out the way. Libra, ouch, Libra. Okay, Libra, as you know, uh, for the air signs in general, you had the argument, then you had defensive behavior. It could be a lot of paperwork that it starts off where you're working quite easily and then an overload happens. I feel like you're going through some sort of worry time at the moment. It could be around work, it could be around a relationship. Um, we got the book of secrets here. Now, sometimes I see this as you need to study, you need to research, you need to work out what the solution is. Other times in a relationship, these are not a good combination. This means that there's something secret going on. It could be you, Libra, that's doing it. It could be your partner that's doing it. Um, if it's at work, it could be something that you're just, it's just unknown. It's creating all this stress and nightmares at the moment this this week, unfortunately, for the Libra people out there. So as you know, I shuffled for the yes and no in the beginning before we started. So you may get a yes or no answer here. You should have already thought about your question. If you haven't, think about it now. Um, other than that, you'll get just some messages here out of this deck. Um, it may be that you're stressing because you feel that at work or your partner or even a medical sort of situation, like I said, um, the air signs may be dealing with pregnancy, may be dealing with twins as well because the double nines, forgot to mention that earlier. Um, uh, it could be that uh, secrets being exposed or something's coming out because uh, this book here, uh, the book can be the book of secrets, it can be the book of lies as well. Something's coming out, um, Libra, and it does look like it's stressful. Uh, the moon is sort of nearly full here in this card. The moon can be like the normal moon card with uh, some sort of deception going on. Something's hidden. Okay, let's see, yes or no. Happy families now. I wasn't really seeing any of that in the reading, but for some of you out there, it can just be happy family events coming up, and that's the only message you need today. And down here... We didn't get a yes and no for the air signs, but um, something could work out in the end. So these two cards are kind of positive, so I'd say it's probably a yes. Um, but this over here, I always feel like nine of spades. This is nine of swords, but nine of spades is, it's something that you just need to end. It's like something that's come, done its its job and it's done. And you, you, you're deciding like it's done. Um, if there's been some sort of turmoil in a relationship or at work and you just don't get it or um, some secrets and crap going on in a relationship, enough of the stress here. Uh, but it does say that things will work out and happy families is like happy times and everything. If it's anything to do with the pregnancy and everything, um, we didn't really get the energy cards that would represent a baby. So I don't think this is anything to do with pregnancy in Libra itself, but it could be. And if it was pregnancy, I'd say that that's probably cesarean or a very tough uh, time as far as a pregnancy goes. All right. And that's it. We are done. That's air sign. So I'll catch everybody next week. Again, my apologies for this being late. Um, I actually thought it was already up and ready to go. Okay. Bye, um, air signs. Catch you next week.